Hi guys, this is Gregor for Personas and today I want to show you how you can reference a guide track in Studio One without the need for any third-party plugins or other costly solutions. This is a video that has been much requested by you guys, so let's get started. A guide track is a certain kind of reference that you receive typically from a collaborator, from your bandmate or even from a paying client. And what they try to exemplify is the kind of result that they want or uh, something that they started out with and that they would like you to stay close to. So in my case, this was like a ghost production, so to say, or like a remix project where I just got a sketch, like a rough guide demo that conveyed the original musical idea, but I was tasked with making this an actual commercially viable song production. And it's very handy to have these kind of guide tracks ready with one single click so that you can always double check if you're still on track or if you're just getting too far away from what the customer, the collaborator or the bandmate originally wanted. So now that we know what a reference or guide track is, let's look at how we can implement that in Studio One quick and easy. We open up the Studio One browser right here and now I'm gonna head to the pool because this is where I have the demo track of my client ready to go. And I'm just gonna drag that into my song production right here. And now I wanna assign this to its own dedicated output. And this is so that I don't have to have the guide track visible in my project at all times. I just wanna have a button here in the mixer where I can toggle between my current production and the original song demo. To do this, I go to the song and song setup. You can find that right here, song, song setup. And gonna switch from the input to the output tab in the audio IO setup section. And now I'm gonna add a new stereo track. And you can even do this if you don't have an interface with multiple outputs, because we're gonna route this one to the exact same main out as the master. And we're gonna call this guide track, all right? and apply and hit OK. We can also make this the default configuration if you want to start out every new song production with this exact configuration. So now that we have this output, we can just select the guide track, open up the track inspector if we haven't already. Uh, the default hotkey for that is F4, and then assign this track with the guide to the guide output instead of the main art. Now we can just hide this guide demo. There's no reason for us to see it anymore, out of sight, out of mind and go to the output section of our mixer. So first we open up the mixer. Uh, you can also do that with the F3 key. Then you head to the output section right here. And now you're gonna see this guide track output that you have next to your master out. And you wanna make sure that's muted by default. So otherwise you would always listen to this guide track in addition to your master out, which is not what you want. You wanna have just effectively a button in your mixer that you can press whenever an AB comparison is required. And uh, whenever I wanna listen to my current production, I don't have to do anything, I just hit play as usual. And when I wanna reference this original idea, then I can just hit solo here on the sky track and I immediately get that AB experience. The only thing that you have to keep in mind now is that the loudness of your master out matches that of the guide track so that you don't think just because your current production is louder, that's actually better. And the best way to do this is to simply add the level meter that's already included in Persona Studio One to the last insert slot of your master out and also of your guide track. And then you set that to whichever metric that you want. So in my case, that would be LUFS R128. That's what most streaming services work with nowadays. Then you need to level match that, make sure that your current master out is not ever exceeding that benchmark that you set for yourself. And now you have an unbiased comparison to a reference AB directly accessible from Studio One's mixer. So let me give you an example of what this looks like in my everyday workflow. So I hit play. And it's sitting somewhere between minus 13 and minus 14 LUFS, which is what the customer wanted. And whenever I want to make sure that it's still close to the original idea, at least harmonically, musically, I just open up the mixer and solo and now I'm listening to the original sketch. It's also between minus 13 and 14 LUFS, as you can see. And this is how I can just go back and forth, super handy.